Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to make for you a beautiful grapevine spring wreath. They are simple to make, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Also, if you are entering my March 31st, 2022, giveaway. Make sure you leave those two words in the comments below. For this DIY, you're going to need one grapevine wreath. And I picked up my grapevine wreath at Michael's Ashland brand and it is 14 inches. So one grapevine wreath. Next, you're going to need some floral picks. Now I picked up my floral picks at Dollar Tree. Dollar General and Hobby Lobby and also a couple at Walmart. So I just gathered up my picks from different stores, lots of different price points. So I always try to when I buy like at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, try to go when the floral picks are on sale half price. You can make this wreath for any season or holiday. I am just making mine for spring. I put this wreath on my front door to take the a video and then I decided to bring it in and hang it in my living room. I just love the colors and it's so simple to make. You're also going to need three different colors of ribbon with wire for this wreath. The navy and white striped ribbon is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and then the hot pink ribbon is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So you're going to want to fold the ends with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side, cut away from the fold and that makes the pretty V on the ends. Then you're going to move down about five inches, pinch your ribbon together, and you're also going to need some floral wire and I am using 20 gauge floral wire. So you're going to go right at the very top in the center of your wreath and then you're going to take a piece of floral wire and I'm just wrapping it where I have the ribbon pinched, giving the wire a few twists then now I am going to take my wire and then wrap it around the grapevine wreath, then go to the back and twist the wire, cut them off short and fold them down. Next, you're going to move down about eight inches or so, pinch your ribbon together, keeping the 1.5 inch width ribbon on top in the center. Take another piece of floral wire, twist the wire around where you have it pinched together, and then you're going to take that wire, same steps, wrap the wire around the grapevine wreath, go to the back, twist the wire, cut it off short, and then fold the ends down. Make sure when you're adding your ribbon that you're not pulling the ribbon tight. So you want it to have a little bit of um, movement to it. So don't pull it down tight, leave it a little bit loose. And then here I'm just cutting off the wires and going to fold them down. And then just kind of fluff it. Make sure that you have the 1.5 in the center. Now it's not gonna stay in the center the whole way. It can get moved over and that's okay too because it's still going to look pretty. And so I added another piece of wire down at the bottom and just secured it with the floral wire. Then I left some long tails, probably about 12 inches or so. Now it's time to start adding your floral picks. So you're going to want to choose some floral picks that are kind of whimsical and have some height. So I picked these up and I don't know what they're called, but I picked them up when they were 50% off at Hobby Lobby last week. So I am just cutting them into shorter pieces, but now remember, I want these to be at the top and kind of stick up above the wreath, and then I want some to hang down below the wreath too. I think these were um, around $4.99 and then half price at $2.50, or at least some of the flowers that I bought were. So sometimes you can catch them at 50% off and they're really not that bad a price because they're a bigger bunch than usually what you get for $1.25 at Dollar Tree now. So after you have your picks cut shorter, I'm just adding some hot glue to the end. And then I am just going to take the floral pick and I just added quite a bit of hot glue on the front and the back 
and then I'm just going to take it and go to the very top center of my wreath and just push the floral pick into the grapevine wreath. I like to add hot glue to mine. Now a lot of people don't and they usually stay in place just fine, but if it's going to be outside on your front porch and it gets a lot of wind and things, then you might want to add the hot glue to the end before you push it into the grapevine wreath. So here I'm just adding it to the top center and like I said, I want it to stick up above the wreath and kind of have a whimsical look. I'm also going to do the same thing to the bottom of the wreath. So in this video, I recorded everything that I did to this wreath. So it's step by step. You're not going to miss anything except at the very end, I did add like two more pieces of eucalyptus before I hung it on my front door, but I'll also show you that little part too. chose this pick too because it has some height to it so you want to choose a variety of flowers different shapes sizes heights and textures and you want to choose colors that work well together for these flowers I'm going to basically do about the same thing I'm going to be adding some to the top and some to the bottom You will also want to choose a pick that's just greenery, just leaves. So I picked up this eucalyptus pick at Walmart, it's Mainstays brand. So I just cut it into shorter pieces and I am just going to kind of fill in around the flowers at the top and kind of place the pieces like on the left and right side. And I kind of want them to hang down and be a little bit um, wispy too.
until this point, my flowers have been kind of petite and dainty. So now I'm going with some bigger flowers. I picked these up at Dollar General. So I just cut them into shorter pieces, added some hot glue to the stem, and then I'm just going to take the pick, push it into the grapevine. So I did one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Parker is helping me edit this video, and I don't know if y'all can hear him or not, but he is sitting beside me and he is snoring, and I can't get the dog to stop snoring. So I'm sorry if you hear Parker. And if you're new to my channel, Parker is my little chihuahua, and then my little other little helper is under my table. It's my daughter's little uh, dog, which is a little coon hound, Lucky, and she was right there helping me when I was making this wreath. Okay guys, so this is how it looks so far. So now I'm taking some more Dollar General picks and notice the variety of flowers that I have chosen. So you don't want all your flowers to look the same. I also kind of did a pattern. If you're watching, you'll notice that I have like one purple flower at the top, one yellow flower at the top, and then I'll add in just a minute one big pink flower at the top. So. I kind of repeated what I did on the top, I did on the bottom, except for the yellow flower that I added on the left side in the center. So I just kind of tried to mirror what I did on the top on the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just think it looks really pretty when it works out that way. These pretty pink flowers are also from Dollar General, so I just cut them off shorter, and then I'm just going to add one to the top and one to the bottom. So this wreath didn't take a whole lot of flowers and it really didn't cost much to make because I have leftover flowers to use on another DIY. There's little Lucky sleeping underneath the dining room table. Next, we're going to tie a big bow to put in the center of the wreath. So let out a tail about seven or eight inches, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, go to the other side, make another loop the same size as your first loop, keep it pinched tightly in your hand, go back to the other side, make another loop, check to make sure your loops are about the same size. These are about five inch loops back to your first side, make another loop. Keep it pinched tightly in your left hand. Then you're going to let out another tail, about eight inches, or eight inches or so. Next, we're going to be adding our second color of ribbon, and it's 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. All three of my ribbons came from Sam's Club in store this spring, so I'm just adding it on top of the first color. I let out a tail first, Make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your hand. This is probably about a four inch loop with the second color. And I'm just going to make another double bow with it. And then with my third color, I just make a single bow. And then you're going to want to have some floral wire or a zip tie to wrap nice and tight around the center of your bow. Yesterday, I added a bow tutorial to my YouTube channel and I took my time, really tied the bow slow, talked my way through step by step. So with this bow tutorial, I kind of rushed it, but if you're needing some help tying a bow, I can link that bow tutorial in the description box for you, and it's more detailed, and um, I think you'll like that one better than this tutorial. So once you have the bow the size you want, then you're going to let out a tail, cut it off, and then now I'm going to take a zip tie and just wrap it around the center of the bow. And then when you use a zip tie to attach it to your wreath, you're going to just take a piece of floral wire and thread it underneath the zip tie. So that way you can attach it to your wreath easily. Here I'm dovetailing the ends, so fold it in half with the edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V. So you're going to want to do that to all the ends or just cut it at a slant or a knife cut. So this is the way it looks when you fluff all of your loops. And notice I turned the blue ribbon one loop up at the top and one at the bottom. And then here's where I'm just adding the wire. 
on lots of my bow tutorials, I just use floral wire so that I don't have to do this step right here. But it's really when you're using more than one color of ribbon, it gets a little bit hard to hold. So it's easier for me to just use a zip tie than add my wire. And so now I'm going to take my bow and I'm going just above the yellow flower in the center on the left, taking my wires on my bow, wrapping it around the great vine wreath, going to go to the back, twist the wires, cut them off short and fold them down. Then make sure I have my tails going in the direction that I want, fluff my loops. And then I think, well, I did add at the end, you'll see I took the rest of my eucalyptus, which I had three or four pieces left, and I filled in a little bit just below the bow on the left side. So there's my eucalyptus. So I didn't let any of that go to waste. So I just hot glued some pieces in right there, and then it was ready to hang up on my door. And if you've been following my channel for very long, I love butterflies. So my friend Dawn sent me these butterflies. So I just had to add a couple butterflies to this wreath because it's spring and I just love springtime and pretty flowers and butterflies. So that one I just wired on, but the other one I hot glued on. I always get questions about where to place the wire when you have a wreath made like this. So you're going to want to place it more on the side where the flowers are. So in this one's um, case, top left side, probably about four to six inches from where the center is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share it, and I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.